amazing. Absolutely amazing. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, guess what? What? We're going up nor northwest. Northwest, yes. Are, are you sure? We're going to Alberta. Alberta. Big Bear Country Outfitters. Big Bear. Big Freddy Bear and Sam. With Big Fred. Yeah, Freddy. The emotional. Yep. Yeah. And yes. Sam from Rocky. Yeah, they're going to go up. They're going to head up some, hunt some black bears. Yes. They well, that's, actually. That's what I said. They're really? Going bear. Yeah. Uh, hey, this week's lucky logo is Hunter Specialties. Send away. Spray it, and they will not smell. What will not smell? Watch for the Hunter Specialties logo, and we'll tell you what to do at the end of it. It doesn't make you go away. Yeah, nice try. Anyways, they had lots of great encounters. They had oh. a hot sow coming. There's a lot of great food, hot so sow. we should just get going, right? Mm. Let's just roll the footage. Hot sow. Hot sow. So this week, we're picking up where we left off on last year's The Choice Show. Jason and Steve knew of a big bear that we wanted to get in on early on the hunt, and we went in there, and sure enough, Sam killed his first big bear of the week. Oh my gosh, dude. Right there. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> One tag is punched. So the next night, I was up, and we headed out to the Jody's Amber site. And boy, was it a wild night. And the good Lord blessed me, and I killed my first big bear of the week. And that's how we do it in Northwest Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters, baby. Give me love, son. Boom, baby, God is good. Thank you, Lord. So two nights in, two tags punched. We enjoyed some celebration cookies up in the tree stand and made it back to the lodge just in time for steak and shrimp night. Oh yeah, and ice cream. Can't forget the ice cream. So we got ready the next day, we grabbed our spy points and headed out to put them up to see what other action was going on. We're gonna head in here to the Big Rock Bake, set up our spy point, and see if we can't get this bear on film. And the strap. And now, we'll set that branch back there. I'm gonna get the spy point turned on, and head on out and go get in the tree stand for the night. Let's roll. So after we got our spy point set up, we headed on over to the Amber River site to see what was going on there for the evening. Didn't take too long for the action to start. We look up and here comes a sow with a tiny little baby cub, a baby. Baby, he's about that big. Comes in and they're, they're milling around the bait for a little bit. All of a sudden, that sow huffed, that little cub ran up a tree, and we look behind us and here comes a good looking boar. Well, he came in, walked up right to the bottom of our mare step, stood up on his hind legs to give us a closer look. That sow and cub and smaller boar stuck around for most of the night. Nothing big showed up tonight, so we just sat back and relaxed. No worries though, we have the spy point set up on another area. Hopefully it's got pictures of some good bears there. I think we're done with the action tonight. We did set up some cameras ever at Big Rock this evening. So hopefully we see some of that as well. 
And we're here the next morning at the big rock bait. We came in here last night and set up a spy point before we went over to the amber bait. We had an absolute awesome night last night at the amber bait. We had a sow come in with a little baby cub, only about that big. Then we had a boar come in. They were fighting back and forth. Gave us about two and a half hours worth of footage. Really, really cool night in the stand. So there's a bear in here that we're looking for that's got a split ear. So hopefully he came in last night and our spy point got pictures of him. But it looks like it was hit pretty hard. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, come in here tonight and set it and it'll be productive. So let's get back and check this out. That is way cool. Let's roll. Okay, we just got in here and got set up on the big rock bait. Came in here yesterday and set up our trail cameras, our spy points. We're looking for two specific bears, a bear with a white V on his chest. We're also looking for another boar <coughs> that's missing part of his right ear. So we got pictures of those bears last night. They were in on this bait. So we just got in here, got set up for the evening. We're going to let the wood settle down and see what comes in tonight. Well, the spy points really worked out well for us. We knew that there was a hot sow in the area. She had a really blonde muzzle and blonde eyebrows. We look up and here she comes into the site. Things are about to get good. Well, just like we hoped, we look up and here comes a boar, walking right down the same trail that that sow took it. But it's not the same boar. It's not the one with the split ear. It just goes to show you, when you got a hot sow in the area, no telling what's gonna come in. Again, this guy comes right to the bottom of our mirror step to check us out. Well, when he does that, he gives us a good opportunity to judge him, and we decide that we're gonna wait on that boar with the split ear. Well, that decision came back to bite us. Parents, you might want to have the kids leave the room because things are about to get a little hot. That boar didn't want to wait for that split-eared bear to come in and take his sow away. She walks off into the timber, he follows her, and well, they do what bears do in the spring. We had a sow come in that we've had pictures of this week. So we made it up the tree stand. It wasn't long before we saw activity. Yeah. 
we had a small boar come in rubbed out on the sides and uh, he was messing around the bait and uh, probably there 15 20 minutes before another really decent sized boar came in size boar in here. He's a pretty good size. Came in, eat around the bait for a little bit, walked around. We got to wait it out, see, see what else comes in. I think that's a different one. Hey, big bear country outfitters, real excited. Made it probably 50 yards up the road, so we're heading this way right now. See if we can find it. Just a huge thanks to Big Bear Country Outfitters for this experience. Again, I am so grateful. And Ralph and Vicki, they've, they've been very supportive. Thank you, Big Bear Country Outfitters, Ralph, Vicki, Jason Packer, Steve Overgard, Dwayne. They told us this bait was gonna have all the big ones. We just didn't know it would come this soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for this exciting experience. This is what it's all about. Like Freddie said, there's a reason they call it Big Bear Country. <laughs> you don't see much like this. <sighs> So here's a little history on the beard. It's called the Booner Beard. Here's the concept. If I film a Boone and Crockett animal dying, or if I kill a Boone and Crockett animal on film, the beard comes off. Until then, she lives on. Set our first bears into the night. 
We had a sow come in with two cubs from last year. They're up the tree right here in front of us, about 10 yards. About two minutes after they walked in, we have a small boar that walked in. She chased her cubs up the tree. She walked off about 75 yards and she's watching. I don't think she'll go too far. She won't let this boar get close to her cubs. We're gonna hang tight and see what else comes in tonight. Well, we're sitting there and we had action all night long. Bears were in and out. We had this small boar that was in there and all of a sudden he gets up, he's jumpy and he takes off. Well, in the background, we can hear some limbs breaking and we hear jaws popping. And all of a sudden we look up and here comes a monster, an absolute monster bear. There was no doubt about this guy. He may even be beard worthy. Oh baby, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's my second big bear of the week. Yes, sir. Big Bear Country Outfitters, Jason Packer, Steve Overgard. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. What a night. Right here is next to my beautiful wife and girls, the prettiest sight in the world. And that is a bloody beaming and a spitfire that did a number on a gigantic, gigantic black bear. Right here he lays and he's a monster. He's a monster! <laughs> Bears like this, folks. Let's see if I can get him up. Bears like that right there is why they call it Big Bear Country Outfitters. That's why they call it Big Bear right there, baby. That bear is gigantic. He's massive. And guess what? He's going back home with this Illinois boy, son. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, it was so close, so I mean, close. That beard owner. almost came off. Oh. We could have sent hair like to, to numerous organizations. <laughs> really? Nice. They, oh yeah, they could have made toupees and, and everything. I mean, really? it was all. Oh. You think? I mean, it was pretty close. Good job, though, guys up there. Yeah, I mean, it was, was really cool. And, they had and a Sam great time. Pumped, huh? Sam's first bear hunt. I mean, you gotta love it, yep. huh? Hunter Specialties was the lucky logo. If you happen to Send see away it. Sprites. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from Hunter Specialties as well as some of our other manufacturers next week. Oh, I can talk now? Please. Yukon, baby. 
Yep, yeah, where the gold rush is. Well, our Adventures. gold rush is Moose Mania, and we can't wait to get up there and share with you some unbelievable things. Yeah, and it's actually only part one of part two. Yes, two parts. Two parts so. so grab the popcorn and just don't even go to work for the next week. Just wait till Archer's Choice comes back on. That sounds like a great idea. Thanks yes. for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.